I have another Prosperly box for you. So if you didn't see my last video, definitely go check it out. Prosperly is a new subscription box. This is the second box that I have received from them. And I absolutely loved the first one. I was really excited to get the second one and um, it didn't disappoint. Okay, so let's just go through it. I have my little card here with all of the details of everything. Okay, so the first thing on here, I cannot believe that I have not made this yet. I am a popcorn fiend. This is Lonesome Whistle Farms Dakota Black Heirloom Popcorn. Supposedly it pops white, but it is actually, you know, little black popcorn kernels in there. I'm assuming it just tastes like, you know, popcorn. And of course it's organic and everything. And this little guy will cost you $3.50. The next tasty item on here is from Fat Toad Farm. And this is a caramel duo. These are two goat's milk caramel sauces. Uh, this one is cinnamon and this one is original. And it says pair with ice cream, baked brie, apple slices, Greek yogurt, pancakes. Oh, this stuff is, is ridiculous. I mean, it's just, you know, your typical Caramel sauce, well, not typical, <laughs> not typical. This isn't that crap made from corn syrup that you can, you know, get in the ice cream aisle at your local grocery store. This stuff is the goods. Uh, the only thing in here is, well, it says nothing but goat's milk, pure cane sugar, and baking soda. And the cinnamon one has organic cinnamon sticks in it as well. They're both organic and fan frickin tastic Oh my God, these are so good. They're super, sweet and rich and delicious. I've mostly been eating them on ice cream. I especially love the cinnamon one. It kind of makes your ice cream taste all snickerdoodly. Oh God, these are so good. Uh, and that little duo is $16 and holy cow, totally worth it. Oh my God, that's so good. Okay, and then we have some skincare items. This is from Posh Skincare and these are organic cleansing grains. So, this skincare line can be found on Etsy, but their Etsy shop is currently not up. <laughs> this is bad timing on their part. Evidently they're relocating from the West Coast to the East Coast, but yeah, so you can't actually buy these right now. I mean, eventually you should be able to, and their Facebook is still up and their Instagram. So this is it's just supposed to be for all skin types and it has anti-itch properties which reduce redness and help moisturize, hydrate, and exfoliate your skin. And in it is oats, organic ground almonds, organic lemon peel powder, organic lavender powder, peppermint essential oil. This is not like anything I've ever used. It is a powder essentially with some, some bits in it. It's like a dry rub, like something you would put on your chicken. That's exactly what it seems like. In fact, the lemon peel in this makes it smell savory and it feels like you're basting your face getting ready for the grill. It's uh, it's it's really, it's really interesting. So the way that I've been using it is I just kind of splash my face with warm water and then, you know, put it in my hands and maybe I'll add a little bit more water and kind of work it into a paste and then just essentially rub it on your skin. It's very odd, it's very odd. It's very soft, it's not harsh grains at all. It doesn't feel like a scrub. It just feels like, you know, you're sort of rubbing soft bits on your face. I did not actually expect it to clean my face because it, it just, it just doesn't feel like it's a cleanser at all, but it does. I mean, it did a surprisingly good job of, re of removing my makeup even. Um, my eye makeup, not so much. I definitely had some raccoon eyes, so, you know, eh, can't really deal with the mascara, but the rest of my skin was absolutely clean and it felt very soft and hydrated. It's very interesting, very strange, but I actually do like it. This little guy will cost you $8. And then I got two things from Being Apothecary. And this is the Sprig Lip Balm. And this says stimulating peppermint and basil. It's actually a fair amount of product you get in this. It's kind of a deep tin. It smells very pepperminty. I don't really smell a whole lot of basil, mostly just the peppermint. It's a, a pretty thick, waxy formula. You know, it's not super thin and oily, which is kind of what I was expecting. I really like it. I think it's quite nice. It's actually just been kind of sitting out on my kitchen table for whatever reason. And so I've been reaching for it a lot throughout the day and it's really nice. It definitely feels moisturizing. Like I said, it doesn't have that really slippery oily feel. It's, it's a thicker consistency. Let's see, there's shea butter, avocado oil, hemp oil, jojoba wax, 
vitamin E, vegetable glycerin, essential oils of peppermint, and basil. Uh, and then the other thing from this company is this Calmaterra French Pink Complexion Clay Facial Mask. This company, you go to their site, and instead of telling you, oh, this will remove dark spots and reduce fine lines and all those other magical keywords that people tell you, it has this little blurb that is like an excerpt from a story kind of a thing. And it's like, she was sitting there in the dark knitting and he walked in and she could smell him and he was there to lift her and lighten her. I, I don't, what? I don't know what that means. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of cute, but like, what? I don't understand. I don't know what this is supposed to do for me. So this is a Moroccan Rasul clay. Rasul, I think that's how you say that. And this has rose hip and clary sage to repair and soothe dry or sensitive skin. And um, from what I can find on the interwebs, Russell Clay is supposed to be super wonderful. It's supposed to be good for arthritis. You can use it as a shampoo or for your skin. And it is intended to soften the skin, reduce sebum secretion, regenerate the skin by removing dead cells, and rebalance the skin by tightening the pores. All good stuff, right? And this is, is just comes in like a powder form, and it's a very fine powder, and you just mix it with some water and mix it into a paste, put it on your face, and it just works like, you know, your normal everyday clay mask, you know, where you put it on and it dries and kind of tightens and then, you know, you rinse it off and your skin looks lovely. Um, I liked it. It was nice. I would say don't leave it on too long because it definitely starts to dry out your skin after a while. But overall, I found that the results were quite nice. And, um, and this is a good size thing. And the powders always seem to last longer. Did I tell you? So the lip balm is $12. Uh, the complexion clay is $24 for this guy. And then the last thing in here is this cute little tiny little terrarium kit and it is just like a little glass bowl and it comes with some rocks and some seeds and a little bit of like little mossy things you basically just build yourself a little a little garden in a jar and add water and and there you go you have a little bit of a little bit of nature with you and you can leave it on your desk at work or you know whatever so Colin is actually going to take this with him to work and build himself a little garden I thought that was cute so besides if I leave it at home either the cats will eat it or the kids will destroy it so it'll be safer with him at work when I first got my box I opened this and my glass bowl was just shattered to bits. So I immediately emailed the company and said, hey, my terrarium was broken. Will you guys replace it? And they said, absolutely. And they sent out a new one right away. And they also sent me an extra one of these little facial cleanser things which I thought was sweet. <laughs> they just threw that in there for funsies. So that was really nice. So really happy with the customer service on that. And these are $22 for this little guy. Okay, so that completes my Prosperly box. Again, really happy with this box. I think it's just an interesting collection of artisan things. You know, you've got some super delicious food items, some skincare, a happy little garden. <laughs> I just think that this is such a sweet box. And I like that I can share it with Colin. Because a lot of times these kinds of boxes will be very female oriented. And this one, yeah, okay, it's got some skincare in it that Colin won't care about. But he loves, you know, caramel and popcorn. And, you know, he's going to take that terrarium to work. So, you know, I, I love that I can share this with him. And it can be, you know, a box for both of us, not just me. So that's always really nice. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video.